A pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun, another pronoun, or a group of words acting as a noun. We can describe them eight different ways. Personal, possessive, reflexive, intensive, interrogative, relative, demonstrative, and indefinite. Let's talk about the first one. A personal pronoun refers to a specific person or thing and can be singular or plural. Let's look at an example. I went with you and them to the store. In this sentence, there is a first person pronoun, I. It refers to me, the speaker. There is a second person pronoun, you. It refers to you, the person listening. And there is a third person pronoun, them. It refers to other people who are not present in the conversation. Sister. A reflexive pronoun points back at a noun or another pronoun and lets the reader know that the same person is involved. The reflexive pronoun is always separated from its pair by the verb. Canute bought himself a sombrero. Himself is the reflexive pronoun and indicates the sombrero Canute bought was for Canute. It would be weird to say Canute bought Canute a sombrero unless there are two Canutes, which is unlikely. So we use the reflexive pronoun. Intensive pronouns look exactly like reflexive pronouns, except they add emphasis to the noun. Mitzi gave the award herself. Here, herself is the intensive pronoun. If we switch this word closer to Mitzi, we see how it emphasizes Mitzi, intensifies Mitzi. Mitzi herself gave the award. Both examples are, are intensive pronouns. An interrogative pronoun is used to form a question. There are only five in the whole language. Who, whom, whose, what, and which. Let's look at an example. Which bat does Ryan Braun use? Which is the interrogative pronoun here. It's the first word in a sentence that we call a question. An interrogative sentence requires an interrogative pronoun. Who let the dogs out? Who indeed? Who is your interrogative pronoun? A relative pronoun is used to begin a group of words called a subordinate clause. We'll get into that a little bit later, but there are only 11 relative pronouns in the whole language. Who, whom, whose, whoever, whomever, which, whichever, that, what, whosoever, and whatever. Let's look at an example. Zena is the girl who sent the present. Here, Zena is the subject, is is the verb, and the word who introduces another clause which describes Zena. This is called a relative pronoun. Here's another example. Alaska, which has a very small population, is the biggest state in the Union. The main clause here is Alaska is the biggest state in the Union. But we've got this extra subordinate clause here which is introduced by the relative pronoun. Finally, the man bought whatever was on sale. Here we have the relative pronoun whatever introducing this clause, whatever was on sale. A demonstrative pronoun points out specific persons, places, things, or ideas. There are only four in the language. This, these, that, and those. Let's look at some examples. This is a very interesting story. Here's your demonstrative pronoun. If you see the word this, these, that, or those, it is always going to be a demonstrative pronoun. Those are the ugliest shoes I've ever seen. There's that demonstrative pronoun again. In both of these cases, these pronouns are functioning as the subject of our sentences. Finally, an indefinite pronoun refers to a person, place, thing, or idea in a more general area. There's a long list of these, but here are a few. Any, each, everybody, most, no one, several, and something. Let's look at an example. Somebody built the Great Wall of China. If we had said Bill built the Great 
wall of China, it would be obvious that Bill is the subject of this sentence. Just because it's an indefinite pronoun shouldn't confuse you. Most of the kittens played with the yarn. Here your indefinite pronoun is most. It's a nonspecific number. We don't know exactly how many kittens, but we do know that most of them. Few could handle a bat like Ted Williams. Here we have our verb, could handle, and we need a subject. In this case, it is the word few, which is a, uh, an indefinite pronoun functioning as the subject of your sentence.